All right, I'm going to try to do a full adder demonstration while holding my little camera with one hand using wires instead of switches. This is the carry bit, so the third possible one. This on the right side is the first significant bit. This on the left side is the second significant bit. It just works out that way. I could switch them but I'm not going to. I have one funny bug, and that is that it turns to 1-1 one, one when 1 is on and any of the other two are pulled loose. The other one turns on. Even though, as long as I have an absolute value, a number put in a 0 or a 1 instead of just a float, I get what it should be, which is 1, 0, and 2 case. And here's my carry bit, which would come from a previous adder. And then you get... So if I take one of these out while the carry bit is on, I go back, and it doesn't do the crazy float thing. But, again, if I only have one entered, oh look, see it. It's only one, only one of these are on and the others put loose, I guess. And so that's zero, 01. And so the way that adders work is if you have two four-digit num four numbers, the two inputs are the first two numbers, and then on your second adder circuit, the carry bit that comes out of the, the second digit, which is this one on the left, that comes out of this OR gate, these two transistors here inputs into the carry. And here, there won't be anything on the first one. There's no carry. And you'll have it. The first digit of each four-digit number on the first one. And then, on the second adder, you will have the second digit of each number input and then the carry bit will carry over here. And then the third adder, you will have the third digit of each number at the input. And then the carry bit. So they do add into each other with the carry bit, but the way that you arrange the inputs is the two first digits, the two second digits, the two third digits, and the two fourth digits. So those are not rippled, only the carry bit travels from one to the next.